Hello and welcome to a new video of our Learn Salesforce series. In today's video, we are going to look at how you can add a dynamic report chart to a Salesforce record and then leverage it to get a 360 degree view of the customer. Let us take United Oil and Gas Corporation for our example. So typically, the ability to have a 360 degree view would be limited to your related lists or any roll-up summary fields that you may have created on opportunities or orders. And if I wanted to view a snapshot summarizing uh, all the key elements on your opportunities or cases, I would take the help of reports like these. So this is a report that we have configured for this particular video. It gives a monthly split of the expected and re realized revenue. Now, if you want to see a snapshot version of it for an account, you would either summarize this report on account name, which may or may not work based on the number of accounts and opportunities that you have in the system. The second way you would do it is basically filter on the account name and run a report, filtered report, for that particular account. Now imagine doing that for different accounts and for all the different reports that you would want to analyze on the, that particular account. That's a lot of clicks and time. So let us see uh, how we can get this particular report chart on your account and make it dynamic at the same time. Once we go back to our account and click on edit page, we'll search for report chart component and place it just above our related quick links section. We'll also choose a report. Now by default this gives the first report available in the alphabetical order. We'll choose expected and realized revenue report. Now if you see the chart that is appearing over here, it's actually the same chart that was there in my base report. It does not give you a chart which is filtered for the particular account we are on. To do so and make it dynamic, we will filter by account ID. This will filter out the chart and we'll click on save. Once we do that and go back to our account, you would now see the snapshot of the expected and realized revenue for different months appearing. So you have a quick view of the opportunities that were closed one or maybe are in the stage of final negotiation as well as what is in the pipeline for the coming months. And this particular component will be different for different accounts. So if I navigate to another account and open that, the report or chart that you will see over here will be for those particular reports. Now there's one more thing that we have over here that's called view report. Now if I click on this, you will not just navigate to the base report of this particular chart, but it will already be filtered for that account where you navigated from. So I navigated from United Oil and Gas Corporation account. It had 12 opportunities corresponding to it and I have data only corresponding to those 12 opportunities. And if I go and click on the filters, you would see that the account ID is already filtered for that particular account. Until and unless you save this report, the base report is untampered. Now you can repeat these steps for different report charts which may be configured on reports on say orders or cases or maybe complex reports which are um, on different objects. You can also configure this kind of a report chart on different objects itself. So you can have this kind of a report chart visible on your opportunities, cases or invoices, orders or any other custom objects that you have in, set up in your org. Thank you for watching this video. 
let us know your thoughts in the comment section below